from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm Lauren Casey with your latest headlines. Two teens from Indiana are dead after being pulled from chilly waters of Lake Michigan. The 16 and 17 year old brothers were swimming with their cousins at Warren Dunes State Park in western Michigan. Law enforcement says it took them about 30 to find the brothers. This morning, 11 men are off the streets and facing criminal charges for a child sex sting that lasted several months. The Johnson County Sheriff says that the men are between 19 and 49 years old. The sheriff says the suspects were willing to travel two hours to have sex with someone they thought was a teen. The arrests happened late last week across seven central Indiana counties. Detectives set up fake profiles on websites pretending to be a minor and communicating with the suspects. Sheriff Dwayne Burgess tells WRTV it's sickening to know that people like these suspects uh, would attempt to have sex with a minor. It doesn't matter who the person is or what type of career they have, they're willing to meet sometimes with a 14 year old. I think parents, you need to really pay attention to the, the social media, um, the internet, wh where your child is, is going and visiting. If it's on their phone, a home computer, you need to talk to them. This is something dangerous. Burgess there says that his office tries to be proactive and that crime will not go unnoticed. Let's get a check right now of our forecast. Todd Clausen is standing by. All right, Lauren, temperatures today are going to be climbing into the 70s and 80s, depending on where you live with sunshine, with low humidity, and also light winds. Nearly perfect day for us. 74 to the north as you make your way into the Kokomo area, right around 80 in the metro area, low 80s from Bloomington over towards Columbus. Great evening for baseball. Indians are back in town at Victory Field. Temperatures in the mid 70s to start wrapping up in the upper 60s with increasing clouds throughout the evening hours, but we do remain dry tomorrow, though we deal with showers and storms off and on, especially through the middle half of the day. A couple of the storms could be strong to severe. All right, Todd, for more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.